Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Martelli TV. Real quick game of Interplanetary Ice Bike going on here, back on Mars, back in Gale Crater. And we're looking at the rover. Now, this is from Sol 1375, so this is very recent. And we have at the top of the page these two images here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was looking at these the other day and thinking, what the hell is going on here? Now, I really don't actually know what's causing this uh, on the rover, but there are some very strange tracks on the actual rover itself. Um, let's click on one of these images and have a look. I've done some very quick enhancements of these, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this really quick, this video, because it's a real basic one. But you can see straight away what I'm on about here. You have these strange marks on the rover in the dust that's settled on the rover here. And they're like scratches or marks and there's or, or tracks of some sort. And they go all the way up here. Some of them are long and thin, but some of them are kind of quite wide, like they, these here. Okay. Um, so if you have any ideas what might have caused these, please leave a comment below because I don't actually know. Um, I'm just trying to do some detective work here, as usual. I've got some enhancements here. I'll click through these real quick. Here's a basic one. It's not enhanced. This is raw. Totally raw image. You can see this track here. And it starts off, now whether it started at this end or that end, I don't know, but it's very wide at this end. And it gets narrower and narrower until it sort of ends around here somewhere. Or in fact, it might even carry on to here. So could this be some kind of micrometeorite that's hit the rover and it's kind of gradually rolled along and, and disintegrated? I, I, I can't see that. Could it be some kind of pebble or, or, or rock, or a small rock that's kind of flicked up onto the rover and it's been rolling around. If that was the case, you'd expect it to be in a more of a sort of circular pattern or sort of more of a random pattern than that. And I wouldn't expect it to change width as it goes along. I mean, what, what could it possibly be? Let's have a look at these up here. Now, it almost looks like someone's got a screwdriver and has been trying to fix something a screwdriver or, or perhaps a, a spanner or something has been trying to fix something on the rover and they've scratched the dirt off the surface as they were using some kind of tool perhaps they were making adjustments on this um, part of the rover here to this equipment but that doesn't really explain the ones over here so I really don't know let's, let's have a quick flip through these I won't show you them all now because I'll put them all in at the end as usual I'll just pick out some of the, the more sort of clearer ones. This is an enhanced clip of those larger marks here. And I've really darkened that up to show what's going on. What the hell is that? Uh, <coughs> I really don't know. I really have no idea what's caused this. Um, there could be a number of reasons for it, but this bit beyond me really uh, what could have caused it whether it's something rolling around and disturbing it could they be let's have a look at the negative here this is quite clear and negative you can see the, the detail here now could they be animal tracks could they be made by some kind of small creature kind of sliding along you'd expect them to be more uniform if they were but what about these up here could they be animal tracks? Could they be caused by some kind of small mollusk or, or primitive creature kind of sliding around like a snail or something like that? That's what immediately came to mind when I, when I saw them, snail trails. But who knows? Who knows? Um, is it, I mean, these here could be, maybe have been caused by the equipment moving around. I don't know. But what about those, these here? How the hell did they get there? doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, let's have a closer look at those other ones. These are, these are the ones up on, to, on the top right of the image. And these look fairly uniform here. You can see the width hasn't really changed here. See, they're all about the same, apart from this one here, which is rather old. Very strange indeed. I mean, what could it be? So, answers on the postcard as usual. Leave some comments below if you have any ideas. I'm kind of trying to guess what these might be. I really have no idea. Uh, some of you guys out there might have a better idea. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you soon.